So you are the founder and co-owner of the Yoga Body Shop. What is your role there? Well, I am a yoga instructor there, and okay. I love it. Um, we have a 5,400 square foot yoga studio, and we have two yoga rooms, and we have a state-of-the-art heating system. We have 18 or 19 instructors. Nice. Um, and we just love it. And um, we've been there for over five years, and uh, we've changed lives. We have teacher trainings. We have all kinds of yoga there. Um, we even have yoga for kids. Oh, is that and, right? And yeah, in the summer, we're, um, we, we have a kids yoga camp. So, so we're trying to get that, get that going this summer. And um, we have yin yoga, we have aerial yoga where you hang in the silks. Wow. Yeah, and it can be restorative, but you hang in the silks and you swing and it's really good for the spine. And uh, we have hot yoga, we heat the room to about 100, and, well I heat the room to about 102, anywhere between like 95 to 102. And um, it detoxifies your body when you sweat so much. Okay. And people leave there feeling um, de-stressed and relaxed and, and they keep coming back for more. So that's what we're all about. We're about community and we're up to big things and okay. it's great. It's a great environment to be in. So let's talk about getting started. Yeah. For people like me that, like I told you, my goal okay. is to do more yoga. What if, like, I'm not flexible enough? What if somebody's not flexible enough? <laughs> I hear that all the time. Do you get flexible first and then do yoga? Well, you do, you do yoga just to do yoga. It doesn't matter how flexible you are. Okay. Actually, that's the reason why you do yoga. Because you, you want to improve your flexibility. It's so good for your hips and for your spine. And it's good for your mental well-being. So, so I'm not flexible enough. It's just not a, a good enough answer. Okay. Or, yeah. Now, some people... Uh, is it a religion? Is it a little bit of a religion, kind of, or religious experience, a spiritual experience? Well, that's a good question. It's it's not a religion. Actually, yoga came first before religion. Okay. And um, so it's not a religion. It's it is spirituality. Okay. You learn first. You start learning about your physical body and what it can and can't do, and then from there, it's, there's changes that happen in your life. Changes like you you do, you you don't get as stressed out as much or your interactions with people are better or improved or um, you don't have self-doubt or judgment. So it starts, so yo yeah, yoga is not a religion. It's, it's definitely spiritual. Now women, mostly women or more and more men are doing this? There's a lot of women who do yoga at yoga studio, but um, men do it too and they should do it. Men should do it, especially if you're really a sports athlete or you like to do cross training or weightlifting, it keeps you flexible. So it's, it's good for everybody. Now your husband is involved as an instructor. Yeah. I've met him, had him on the show. Yeah. You two <laughs> seem to walk your talk. Like you look healthy, you act healthy, you have positive attitudes. Is this, would, would you give yoga credit for a lot of that? Um, yeah, it, it saved my life. Um, okay. Not just physically, but you know, mentally. Uh, yoga saves people's lives because it changes them. And it, it um, we get so wrapped up in our lives about being um, stressed and you have to get everything right and be perfect and you know you've got to do this and this and this and and um, it yoga teaches how to just step back and just be present and just be present with life okay. and you know what's happening in the moment because we can be we can miss stuff like when you're on your cell phone all the time looking down and not really interacting with people around you you can miss so much and with yoga you know it makes you present it makes you aware of how you are with yourself how you are with others your interactions with others. So it's great exercise too. Good oh. for circulation, strength. Oh, it's great exercise. Yeah, it's um, it's it's really good. It gets your heart rate up. Um, it stretches you. Get your heart rate up. You, you detoxify when you sweat. Um, it's good exercise for the body and for the mind. Okay, so be, you have beginning courses, like coaches for you know, like two, three different levels of uh, entry. Oh yeah, this. yeah. We have a. Uh, we have beginner yoga, like basic beginner yoga, like like this is warrior one or this is warrior two and you break it down like this is the pose and this is what, you have, what you're supposed to look like in the pose. And then there's beginner intermediate and then there's more intermediate to advanced. So do couples come in together? Is that yeah, very Yeah, they common? do all the time. It's great. It's great when it's a family affair. Now, are there couples that they can't get the partner to come in? Yes. And if that's the case, what can you say? Uh, what are some techniques to get them to bring their partner? Um, this seems hard, that's actually I mean, frankly, good. to me. Like, uh, you know, my partner, she goes to yoga. I can't get myself to do it. 
Thank but actually talking, talking to you, I'm going to try it. Well, if I had a, a boyfriend who did new yoga or a husband, I would say, today's my birthday. <laughs> and okay. and I, for my birthday, I would like you to do yoga with me. Something like that. Or Mother's Day. Today's Mother's Day. And, or, um, or typically uh, men do it when they have an injury. Okay. So that's when we see people at the yoga studios when they have an injury. And then that's when they come. Is this something you do two or three times a week? What do you recommend? Yoga, at least twice a week. Okay. Um, three to four times a week is more ideal. Okay. Yeah. So if somebody wants to get involved in your program, uh, they just sign up online? Sign up online, give us a call. If you have any questions, we can answer for them. Okay, good. Yeah.